Hello everyone, it's Marina. I'm here to do a project share with you. So I got my first sewing machine and I'm super excited and I probably went a little crazy but I think it's okay for your first time. <laughs> so um, what I did was I um, pretty much sewed everything, almost everything, um, into a journal. I haven't ever used a sewing machine before so it was definitely a fun experience. Um, I used a lot of layering um, lots of different um, ribbons and <coughs> laces and trims and uh, seam binding. So that's the back. I've never made anything like this before. I hope you guys like it. I think it's kind of neat. We've got a bunch of different colors. I wanted to have like kind of a bohemian type vibe. Um, a lot of the laces that I used were gifted to me. Um, some of the trims I got are, are used are from, um, they're just from different places. Some of them are from Joanne, some of them are from Hobby Lobby. They're all random, so. Um, so on the spine, I have just put some trim here. I love this trim. I haven't used it in a long time because it is the last I had, but I figured this would be a good project to use it on. And then I have like a, I guess a book page marker in here. And it's a uh, <coughs> peacock feather. And yeah, it's pretty much, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. I really like it. And I really like the tassels down here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go inside. So there's gonna, there's, I left a lot of loose threads. I know I saw a lot of ladies doing this and like, I really like the look, so I decided to try it. Um, envelope here, just got some extras inside, I just have like stuff tucked everywhere. Then here's a coffee dyed bag, and it's got a tag and some tickets. And then just, just um, I did some layering, some random layering in this little tuck spot. It's got three signatures, I didn't count the pages, I kind of just Throw everything together. <clears throat> These are one of the altered book pages I made. I just gessoed it and stamped on it. I really like how it looks. And then I just have a little bit of ephemera tucked inside. And then there's a little pocket up here, and I have that in there. And there's a, this page opens, I sewed, I sewed two pages together and put some lace on them. And it's just got some extra paper to write on. A little flap here. Some stuff tucked into the paper bag. I did some stamping on my paper bag too. <clears throat> More ephemera. Another pocket that I tied with a um, paper bag. I meant to put some tickets in here. Let me do that later. Another paper bag. Just put a couple of tags in there. And then I put some fabric tape down there. Oops, tucks back in. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you guys order off of Amazon. I know a lot of you do. Um, and you get that that paper in there that they wrap everything up in. And I save mine. And I use it for random stuff. This is 
one of the things I never used it for, so I thought it'd be fun, and I just sewed on some of it to another page. I really like it. And then I just sewed down a bunch of stuff here, did some layering. In the pocket. By the way, I'm really happy I could turn this parchment paper <laughs> into pockets because before, um, because it's parchment paper, you know, nothing sticks, including glue or pen or whatever. So I use pencil to write on them, and um, I was really happy I got to make some pockets with it. Do a side loading pocket here. Another side pocket. Put some lace up there. And normally I cut these down or I hide them, but I figured in this case I just leave them showing. Another tuck spot. Oops. <clears throat> the other side of the top side tuck. In the pockets, got tickets and just a little bit of ephemera. Another paper bag. Just have some stamped images and a tag in there. Just sewed on some extra stuff here. I made a bag out of the parchment paper. I love this. And then um, with another with another one of the books book pages, I made an envelope. So this is some coffee dyed trim, and I just layered on some flowers. Put some washi tape on there. Pockets. Other side of the bag. Some Polaroid photo spots. Here's the other side of the bag. Just have that in there. Envelope. I haven't decided if I want to glue this on or not. I was thinking of gluing it on somewhere and then like signing it below. I thought that was cute. And then there's a pocket in the back. It's got a tag. And just some little bits of ephemera tucked into the envelope. Everything is pretty much coffee dyed. Except for the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this right here is a file folder, and I had, what is it that I used? Walnut ink stain. I used walnut ink stain on it, and uh, I did it a long time ago, and I've been saving it for forever. I didn't know what to do with it. So I ended up sewing on it, and I like how it looked. I was going to use some, uh, what is it, Craftex, Craftex, but I cut it wrong, and it wasn't the right size, and I didn't feel like going through the whole process again. So, um, I just use this. Oh, and up here, this is attached with a button, so it can be removed. So, I thought that was cute. But I love it. I hope you guys like it. And, um, let me know what you think. Alright, this is my first, um, sewing machine journal. I did hand stitch in the signatures, though. And there's three of them. I think I said that already. Yeah, anyway. Okay, I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye.